I agree with many of you. This is a premier state. This is a great state. I believe we talked about rail, we talked about river, we talked about access to water, which is a huge problem in other parts of the country, and we have 75% of the world's fresh surface water in our backyard in the, in the Great Lakes. We have, we have rail, we have, we have a tremendous amount of resources, we have great universities, and we have a great workforce. I agree with all those things. So then the question leads, why have we lost nearly a million people over the last 15 years? There's got to be something. Now, a lot of people do like to cherry pick the tax rate. That's that, that, and, and if you cherry pick things, I agree with some of that, but you have to look at the whole picture. We have a, we're looking at Wallet Hub here on the internet, and when you look at the overall tax rate of, of local and state taxes, that include property taxes, that include sales taxes, that include gas taxes, and many of the other things were, were amongst the highest in the nation, we rank last. You can't just cherry pick the income tax. So we have to take in everything. The other thing that we aren't taking into account here is some of the other things that apparently we're not willing to touch either. When you look at businesses, it's not just taxes aren't the only reason they leave. We had mentioned that access to rail and water is important. So is, that, so is a reasonable court system, reasonable regulations. Those things affect businesses too, and I would contend that some of the negatives that I'm not cherry picking looking at the big picture are some of the reasons why people are leaving the state. Now I just, I wish I would, would, would be in the, the, the tax bracket that would uh, create a situation where I would have to pay this tax if passed. I'm not. But I grew up in a small town on the border and I am tired of seeing people flee my state and businesses leave, leave my state it's not just the taxes, it's a lot of other things too. My 25 year high school reunion from TF South High School moved to Indiana. That's how bad it is for people. But there are two people I went to high school with who were very successful and I sent them text today to see what, what they would do if this millionaire's tax passed. One of them bought a company a few years back with 50 employees, now he's up to 175. He said, we were already looking at Nevada and Florida before this was brought up. We only need to keep 25 people in Illinois. The other one said, I just went to a grand opening of a supplier in Wisconsin, 120 jobs. Hello, Wisconsin. Now, my specific question is this, and I'm new. I'm going to use that the last time. But it often seems like when we talk about tax code, we just look at how, many, how much taxes were paid and we multiply by the new tax rate. So one of my best friend's company, who is intending on moving now with 150 jobs left out of, gone out of 175, and those jobs are 50 to $70,000 a year jobs, I would call those middle income jobs, did the analysis of how much money we're gonna bring into the state, did it count for the amount of jobs that are gonna leave the state due to the new income tax increase? Is that, is that accounted for in the analysis and the financial analysis of revenue? I'm sorry, uh, I, I, I lost uh, the question. That's fair, I went a little bit of a rant, I'll be specific. <laughs> Things don't happen in a vacuum. There are business people for many reasons, and this may be one of many, that are planning on leaving. There will be some. I, I think it's absurd to think that there's no chance that some businesses and jobs won't leave. So did your analysis, is it static, is it dynamic? Did it take into account the number of business and jobs that may leave the state if this becomes a tax? Uh, I'm as concerned as you are concerning the general condition of the state. And, and I'm prepared to uh, work with anybody to uh, improve the fiscal condition of the state of Illinois and to make Illinois more attractive for people to move here, for people to start businesses. Um, I don't have a study in front of me that would be responsive to your question, but am I concerned about job loss, businesses leaving, people leaving? Yes, the answer is yes. At the same time, I would argue that here in Illinois, 
We're simply, with this resolution, we're simply asking those that have done well in life to help our educational system. I, I agree with that. There's a lot of people that have done well in life. The reality is we can't chain them here. And we can, we can demonize them if we want to. It's not going to keep them in the state. It's not going to it stop them from, from looking at their taxes or their spreadsheet and stop them from moving. Now, I will tell you that if we were in a state where businesses felt like they had a friend in the General Assembly that actually cared about them, they probably would be a little more likely to stay. I think it's a little bit of a two-way street. Thank you very much. I'll leave it at that. Members, we